guys, Ziggy here with Foutech Unlimited. I'm doing a vacuum mold preparation today. So I have a brand new pale horse mold. This is a uh, Shield 940 um, left-handed IWB holster. So we're going to go ahead and drill this split. First thing I do, you want to get yourself a good set of drill bits. You know, just crappy stuff. It's just, it'll go through, but it's just, it's crap. It will break. Don't use it. I have here a kit from Ryobi inside bunch of stuff now what i personally like there are five one eighths bits that uh we're going to be using so well obviously not all of them but just in case you break one just in case i love ryobi i have a lot of their stuff but there's five of them and all we're doing is drilling the mdf that he uses as material so we're going to go into the drill press and i'm going to show you just where i place them and then we're going to go ahead and do a pull on it like i said i got a custom print for this um harry potter build i'm looking forward to it Let's get to the action. Let's get this going. As you can see, I start in, I'm starting here near the uh, sight channel, and it's going to be the back of the firearm. I like to do one hole at each point because it's going to need a lot of suck in that area. And then go ahead and space your holes out like I'm doing here to go all the way down the slide, all the way up to the muzzle. Then I hit the corner of the muzzle, and then I go down a little bit further to, um, to where the... Uh, recoil spring is, and then go back underneath the muzzle. Hit around the trigger guard area every little bit. I like to do it around each curve, and then hit inside the trigger guard. And then this here is the end of the blocking for the uh, controls, and then definitely around the foamy mount. I like to hit at least one on each side, and then in any crease area or where it points meet or where it changes a different level I like to go ahead and do it right there these right here are here the drill points for your foamy mount go ahead and drill one on each side that way it doesn't bubble up when it forms and then we're gonna go right back to the trigger guard and I like to hit around the corner definitely where the magazine release is because you want it to suck down into that area and then we're going to do around the trigger guard on the outside, all the way down to the grip section. And then where the magazine release is. Now for the other side. The other side I like to do pretty much the same exact thing. And we will um, make it pretty much a mirrored image. So you can start wherever you want, go wherever you want. But pretty much as long as it's a mirrored image, you'll be all set. You don't have to make it look like Swiss cheese, just holes in strategic places will get you going. Um, at the end of this, we are going to do the retention spots as well on the inside. That way, the holster, the Kydex will actually kind of bubble up in that area if you don't put a drill point there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that as well. But again, we're going around the firearm. We're going to step it out each little bit around the slide and, of course, the muzzle that we just did. Now for the trigger guard. Like I said, at the uh, corners, the round points, and then where it changes the levels. Definitely want to go ahead and do that area. I'm going to do a little bit here, just so we get the definition on that body line. Set right there, we're going to go ahead and do as well. And now here are the retention points. We're going to go ahead and drill on the inside of those towards the firearm. That way you get a nice crisp draw right there when you uh, go ahead and, and do the vacuum. And there she be. I like it. Let's do a pull. It's one of my custom images. I printed it, I don't know, week, week and a half ago. Uh, this is gonna be the holster so uh let's hope it goes good it's supposed to be gryffindor colors and let's do it up down crap off of it right so 133 seconds to go and i heard my laser just shut off and she's going to be getting a gryffindor house uh vector on this so i'm just going to try and find something that's good. I got to do uh, black and white on it because it's obviously going on the laser. So I just got to figure out what's a good one. 
Uh, I mean, that looks good. Nice and bold. Good colors. Um, or good spacing and whatnot. I think I will do that one. Yeah, I like it better than this guy. So, let's go ahead and save that. Yeah, the cool part is, is we'll take it and get it in here. So, Gryffindor House. Bam. Yeah, we want to say only one at one. There it is. Get that gray out of there. And of course, on grouping, cool part about this program, I don't want any of that. So, there we go. Let's transfer it to the laser and then get that on a foamy. Finished result for the Gryffindor house. Come on, focus. You can do it. Maybe if I do this. Ready? Boop. Yeah, there it is. Cool. Yeah, it looks good. I'm really happy with that. You'll see that going on this holster. And since this is like a video in a video, let's see what the mold I put in the press just looks like. Which you will see this. Actually, this video I'm doing now is either going to post after this video is posted. Maybe it's before, I don't know. But, we'll see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm. Okay, everything else would look good. 50 seconds, let's do this. Literally, uh, pale horse molds, they're at a 15 degree cut on the sides. So we can do this. Put my hands underneath it, right? And then I'll hit the edge of my bench. You can see where I've done it a lot, right here. And just one quick, we'll get it out. And if you want to, you clean under it. But, let's see if you can see this. That looks pretty damn good. Um, yeah, that looks, I'm happy with that. So let's cut it, drill it, cut it, and do what we gotta do. Well, this video is just on how to prep the mold. And I showed you the holster that's going in, and then the foamy clip that's going on it. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it, and this is what it looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gryffindor House.